Sartre. Hello everyone, I'm José Fernandes. I'm the founder of Bloom Idea. Thank you for coming to my session about doing uh, digital marketing with Drupal. Um, I've been working with Drupal for more than 16 years. Uh, this year, uh, my book, Digital Marketing with Drupal, was published by Pact. And on a personal note, I'm also a plant collector. If anyone here also does that, please send me a message in the end. Maybe we can trade some plants. You can see my <laughs> handler at Instagram growing collection. Uh, I'm from Portugal. Uh, on the 7th of October next month, we are going to have the biggest event of the year for the Portuguese Drupal community. You are all welcome to come. It's on sunny Lisbon. I would love to see you there. So let's, uh, the presentation will have mainly two parts. The first one is about the fundamentals of uh, digital marketing. And the second part, we are going to see some common tasks marketers usually uh, need to do on, on, on Drupal. Um, how many marketers are here? Can you raise your hand? Okay, not many. That's what I thought. So the fundamentals of basic marketing, I think, were, are going to be useful. So let's start with the basics. Uh, why do we need marketing? Marketing is one of the most important business activities a company can do. It's, it makes the difference between a, success, a successful company and a, a, a failed one. It's also very important to the society in I don't know if you know that because marketing has like the objective of building great products and services and we all use products and services is part of our daily lives and if our the products and services we use are good they meet our expectations we are happy with that so we are happier humans and the society that's all uh, gains with that. Also, on the, the um, economic side, it increases demand for the products and services of the company, increases brand awareness, and hopefully generates uh, profitable sales. Digital marketing has several advantages uh, over uh, tradi traditional marketing. Uh, one very important is that it's highly targetable. You can pinpoint an exact person if you want. It provides real-time interaction with our customers through social media, etc. Uh, promotes global reach. It's instant and has highly measurable results. It's cost effective. Nowadays, this is debatable because the cost of uh, marketing is increasing daily. You can tailor a message to individual customers and it's easy to adjust. If you have a, a campaign that is not working, you can pause the campaign, change the ad, change the, tech, the, te the copy, and in a few minutes have another uh, campaign running. Marketeers are the ones who do digital uh, marketing. Uh, if they, they do, they are marketers, they can be marketers by training, they went to school, they learned it, but they can also become marketers by doing. If you do any of these, uh, some of these uh, activities, tasks, then you can call yourself a marketer. If you do researching, if you research customer needs and how to meet them, if you create and put in action digital marketing strategies, if you coordinate design and development of a digital experience, if you plan, create, and manage content on advertising campaigns, if you leverage those, the marketing channels like social media, email, uh, uh, the social networks to drive traffic on to your website, 
If you do social media management, this is one of the most common tasks that marketeers do nowadays. Uh, if you monitor report campaign performance and if you can enhance digital channels and product products, users' experience, then you can call yourself also a, a marketeer. But uh, this is very important. Um, different marketing, uh, digital marketing strategies and campaigns, they can have different goals, but there, th there is one goal that you can never forget that should run in parallel with the, the campaign uh, objective, that is make your brand grow, okay? So let's suppose you have a, a, a digital marketing campaign that its object is to get 100 new customers. You can accomplish this, but at the cost of the, the, the brand, by doing, by prom like promising something that uh, isn't true, that will, in the long run, uh, endanger your brand. And you should be, you should think of your brand as uh, a rep the repetition, repetition of your brand. And that is kind of sacred for, uh, for, uh, for a company, okay? People can interact with the brand uh, in many points, online, both online and offline. To these to this points, they, they are called brand touch points. You must ensure that each of these, each of the places where the, the brand, the customer uh, interacts with your brand, that, they, that the experience is excellent. That you delight the, 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 the customer. So you should trace, create a customer journey, trace all the steps your, your uh, customer takes from the moment he, he got, to know, got to, know, to know you until the moment he buys from you and, and beyond that and guarantee that each of those steps is perfect that exceeds expectations. That's the, way, that's the way you build a strong brand. Knowledge of your, of your customers is essential to creating awesome experiences. Uh, one of the, the primary uh, benefits of digital marketing is how well you can target and segment your customers. Most of the digital uh, media uh, platforms, social networks, etc., they can, uh, they allow you to segment them by geographic and demographic data. The most advanced ones can also, al also allow you to do behavior and psychographic segmentation, okay, going even further. For example, if you are on, on Facebook, you can target people that are on, on the mode of buying something, that usually buy products online. Facebook knows that and you can, can target th those, peoples, those people. And how can you reach them and with what? You can reach them, with, for that you need media, digital media, but not all media is created, it's alike. You can break down, break down them in three major categories. Own media, paid media, and earned media. Own media, it's your website, y the, the list of emails of, from, of your clients. Uh, that you own. It's not rented, it's yours, okay? You can have total control of your website. Then you have Paid media, paid media, it's like advertising on Facebook, advertising on Google search. This one is paid. The problem, this one is one of the problems is that it costs a lot. And the, I think the, the greatest problem is that uh, whenever you stop paying the, 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 the traffic to your website stops Im immediately. Okay, but it's important that it's a way if you do the, 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 the right things, you can make them followers, okay? 
And then you have unmedia. Unmedia, it's like the holy grail of marketing. It's when you have other people telling that you are a, a great company, have great products and services, because it's more trustworthy. People prefer and they believe uh, when others tell us that something is good, not me telling that I'm good, that my byproduct is good, etc. So that is what you should target for. Of course, that is the most difficult to accomplish. Okay. And how do you use digital marketing to, to boost your bottom line? So you have many marketing channels, digital marketing channels. I, this is the most common. And each, your, in your digital marketing strategy, uh, you, you don't have to use all of them, okay? You can use just a mix of them in different proportions. It's like cooking a recipe. You don't put it's the same is all, uh, exact uh, quantity of salt and potatoes, okay? You need to put such as a little bit of salt, but uh, for the ones who like potatoes, but many potatoes. Uh, and then, so, but each one of them, as it's, it's better at, 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 inching, at uh, uh, reaching some goals. For example, content marketing is great for value creation, for customer retention, retention and branding. So social media marketing is great for brand awareness and engagement. It doesn't mean you can't have uh, sales things on, on social media. It's just that it's better for that, okay? Sorry. So, so this, these channels, th you can apply different strategies using the channels and also inside the channels you can have different strategies using that channel. Each of these channels should help in the, the, the marketing funnel where the customer is at the moment, okay? They go through some stages, the moment they know you to the moment they buy from you, conversion, and then if they they buy from you and like the product, they buy again, so they become loyalty customers, and they, if they really like you, and, they, and, they, and if they really thought the experience was excellent, they will refer you to other people. They will tell you things, positive things about you to, other, to their friends on social media, etc. And you should help them with the, 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 the strategies before, help them change to the next step, okay? For example, awareness, uh, search engine marketing is great for awareness. I need something done. Suppose I, I need a plumber to go fix something in my house. I don't know any plumber. So I go to Google, I put plumber in my city, and the first result sh shows me uh, a, co a plumbing company. So. Now I, I know that that uh, that that company. So you see, search engine marketing is great for awareness. In the when they are when the the the, the user is initiation the, the the search. Okay. All all of this you need. One of the most important benefits of this marketing is that the results can be quantified. Okay. Probably you you already heard of KPI, key performance uh, indicators. They are metrics that you keep track of them and see how your strategy is going. And if they, if it doesn't uh, progress like you expect, then you can and should adapt the strategy, okay? And see if it m have any changes on these key performance in indicators, okay? If they are, good, then you are doing the right thing. If they aren't on pair or, or, or on what we expect, the, cha the strategy must, must change. Here are some of the, the common KPIs for uh, an online business. This should be, it's per, each company can have different KPIs. This is just the, the, 
the most common. Okay, for example, the number of orders. This is this is an uh, uh, easy one to see. If I have, if I need 100 orders a month to keep my company in good shape, if I only have 50, it's easy to see that something isn't wrong. That I need to change something. Okay, then. For each channel, you have also some KPIs that you should monitor. Okay? For example, for content marketing, it's important to know the number of, of unique vi visits to your articles. It means if you have uh, a lot of visit visits, if they uh, read more than one article on your on your blog, for example, that you are going that you are doing a good a, a good job. Okay? Then th these are the KPIs I recommend for content marketing. This one's for social media, for example, followers count. So it's important to know if if I have only one follower and I have one thousand followers, it's totally diff different. Even the strategy change with the number of followers I have, for example. Okay, this is for search engine engine marketing. Yeah, in, inside search engine marketing, there's organic, that is usually it's search engine optimization, or search engine marketing, the paid one, PPC, okay, pay per click. Here I, I'm talking about both of them. That's why I put there the organic versus versus uh, paid traffic, okay. Then we have uh, for display advertising, display advertising is simply the banners you see on 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 we website. It was the first form of publicity that that went to the web. Then you have the KPIs for email marketing. I sorry sorry I forgot to put the <laughs> the time on. Uh, how I'm going? Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me the time? Okay, okay, so I mis <laughs> must speed up. Uh, so this is for email marketing. So whenever you, after you understand your customer and are your, uh, and the, the brand meet their needs, you should build a digital marketing plan, okay? But, uh, but do I really need that trouble, that extra work? Yes, you need, because a digital marketing plan is like a roadmap that uh, helps you and your team get there and not get lost along along the the way but to accomplish that they need to be focused achievable encouraging and simple this is very important they need to be simple you don't need another 100 pages document to read okay in the end you need one or two pages that will have very important the objectives define what you need to accomplish the strategy how you will get there and what tactics you will uh, use. For example, if you are going to focus on uh, SEO or if you are going to focus on social media. And then from that you define your action plan. Action plan is simply tasks, tasks that you, are, you must do. This is an example of a digital marketing action plan. It's just tasks that you have a owner that need to accomplish it by S some 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 date, okay. Uh, digital marketing is very time consuming because uh, there's many 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 tasks that need to be done. There are a lot of channels. Uh, it's easy for a, a, a digital marketing team be at least ten people, okay? Because you need copywriters, you need designers, you need uh, uh, design. Um, translators, you need the, 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 the customer support people, it's, it's many people. So for that I, I, I develop a, a module, it's available on Drupal, that has 265 digital marketing tasks organized in 215 sections uh, that you can just uh, check to guarantee that nothing is forgotten, okay? You are invited to go to the issue queue and if you see something that is missing, let me know, and uh, I will add that to the to the to the to the module. Now, I enter in the second 
part of my presentation. We are going to see in general ways how to do uh, this 22 uh, activities that the marketers usually need to, to do. Uh, the first ones are common to almost every site, okay? Then the last 11 are just uh, more focused on uh, Drupal commerce powered uh, stores, okay? So you have these ones, and then we'll see these ones for Drupal commerce, okay? Th the slides are going to be available later on. So, Uh, plans usually fail because they, they aren't exec executed right, okay? Usually, you start with a big idea, you are going to do this and this and that and uh, uh, achieve these goals, but you forget to put those tasks how you will achieve it, and then when you take notice, you, oh, I, I, I just did one task, okay? So, it's a very important that you keep that you split all that you split all the tasks you have to do for and uh, attribute them to the people responsible for them and manage your team and your projects your clients projects marketing client projects okay for that you have uh, an excellent module it's called B burn down okay it's usually it's used for for managing agile projects okay but it's great also for uh, digital marketing teams. I, in my company, for example, I even have, uh, I manage the, the, the developers, all the team is it's managed through this. I just have a, a different Kanban for the, the marketing activities, okay? It has uh, Kanban's, uh, Kanban, tasks, uh, deadlines, etc. to do that. Then, uh, marketing, as it's all about uh, content. That's why they, it's, they say content is king because without uh, content, it's very difficult to do digital marketing. And nowadays we have more cont content than we can imagine. It's very difficult to know, for example, if I have a customer, if it's easy for a customer to have thousands, of, th uh, thousands of assets like pictures, videos, uh, that I can use in in in, in, in the, the communication, in the, the and in the the advertising. So, how do I manage all of this? It's I think because Drupal at uh, at its core, it's a content management system. It has all the tools already built in to do that, using content types, media entities, taxonomies, views. Now with the workflows and content mo moderation. Okay, then. There's also a, a module, Content Planner, this, that's the one you see in the picture, that uh, allows you to manage your uh, content planning. So when you are going to, to post something uh, and also integrates with scheduling and uh, uh, content moderation, so you can have the, uh, the draft, the article in draft mode and say that will need to be ready until in she in next date. Uh, almost every company needs a landing page. That's where your visitors uh, will land to read more about your campaign. And uh, if 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 you can convert them in 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 a they buy something or they subscribe something. Okay. For that, you are also in Card Layout Builder to build your uh, landing pages, but I personally prefer paragraphs. Why? Because after you build the, the design components, like a uh, uh, block for uh, with an image, a block with an image and a text, uh, a block that has a web form so they can submit their data, uh, you have reusable components that uh, for can always follow the the brand identity guidelines and this is very important if not you will end with one landing page that has nothing to do with the, with the, with the brand okay 
a special type of landing page, it's a lead capture page, is uh, a page also that its sole focus is to capture the contacts of the customer, of the contact, the prospect, and then you can, uh, someone uh, will contact them and try to sell them something, book a, a demo of the product, etc. For that you have the one of the, the, mo the most important mo uh, modules in Drupal web form, probably you are already know them. It you can build <coughs> entire landing pages just using web form and this the elements he, he has. Okay. Uh, another excellent option that I like it's Mautic. It's not a Drupal project. It it's a external uh, open source project. It was acquired by Acquia. Um, it's a, a marketing automation tool. It has a very very strong form builder. Okay that generates code that you can then embed in your Drupal uh, page, okay? In, and it, it has a lot of things like if the customer fields and then go see uh, a page and another page, it keeps track, so, uh, keep tra track of that, uh, of everything, and you can see the path the, 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 the customer took. When you need to, to move a, a, a site to Drupal, this is something very common. You have a new project. Uh, the, uh, the customer was using WordPress and now you want to build it with using Drupal. The most important thing that you can forget is that you need to be sure that uh, the, the URLs th are not lost, okay? So you don't lose the, the, the SEO rankings the, the site had before, okay? So you need to Guarantee that the all your URLs on the old site have a mapping <coughs> to the new site. And for that, if you can keep them I the same, usually you don't, you need to do a 301 redirect. For that, you have the redirect module, okay? That you can also do this server side, but it's easier this way. And this module, path redirect import, you see there, you can um, import a CSV with the old, URLs and the new ones, E and E generates automatically redirect entries. Okay. Now uh, implement on page SEO because you have on page SEO and off page SEO. Off page SEO is the SEO, the search engine optimization you don't uh, have total control o over. For example, if someone links to you or not, you are not, to, not, not totally in control of that. But this one, you are in total control if with the tags you put on the site, what are the descriptions, etc. This in itself it will be many sessions. So I just put here the, the, the modules that I think are fundamental. And this last two, SEO checklist, and this one, the module that I built, this one is is uh, another kind of module in touch the checklist, but only just focused on SEO, okay? It has a lot, a lot of instructions and tips. This one has a section dedicated to SEO, okay? But for me, the path for a successful SEO strategy is build a popular, a popular brand, have a great website, and then people will, will find you, okay? Uh, digital marketing is obsessed with data, okay? They want to track everything. Uh, they love to see, for example, people, uh, visitors work uh, navigating real time on the website. People love that. Uh, because of that, there are so many tags, so many tags you need to add, like for Facebook, for Instagram, for TikTok, for uh, Pinterest, etc. Uh, if every time Drupal, um, I think Drupal has modules for all of that, okay? But it's another module that you need to add. What I recommend is use Google Tag Manager. There's a module that is Google Tag Manager and you create a Google Tag Manager account, it's free, and then you can put all your tags there and manage them without any alteration on the website, okay? If you want deeper integration with Google Analytics, there's Google Anal Analytics module is one of the most popular in, in Drupal also. And I recommend this one also because 
uh, Facebook and Instagram are a marketing channel now that is very important. And if you have a Drupal Commerce store, it automatically generates the events for purchasing, purchase add to cart, etc. without any setup. You just put the Facebook pixel ID there, okay? Uh, this is a very common task also that, that is sharing your content on so oh, helping your customer sharing your visitors sharing your customer on their social networks. Uh, I personally like that one, maybe because uh, it has better in the name, great marketing. Right? Uh, it's very flexible. And then this one, it's MetaTag. MetaTag is like a big module with uh, some modules. Everyone should install MetaTag. And they have a sub-model, Open Graph. And with Open Graph, you can control how the content is shared. You can choose which image is going to appear on Facebook, what description, etc. And you get big pre previews on the on, on big displays there. Uh, email marketing, it's you know it's email marketing. It's one of the favorite and still one of the best conversion uh, digital marketing that has uh, more uh, best conversion f in all the digital marketing channels. Uh, Drupal probably you don't know, but uh, it doesn't send HTML emails by itself, okay? Just plain text, okay? But ma what is, uh, but Martin needs pretty emails, okay? So you need to install Symfony Mailer. It's a new module. Before that was a, a Swift Mailer, but it was, it, uh, it is deprecated now. So this is the, the one you should install that allows you to send HTML emails, okay? This one here that you see in the, in the, in the picture, the, the, in the back, is email, it's a great module. What it, what it does is, it has, uh, allows you to create uh, templates of emails, okay? Then you just put to tokens, like hello token, the name of the, 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 the user, uh, your order token, the number of the order, and you can draw your uh, write, uh, draw your HTML exactly with a with a CK, uh, CK editor, <coughs> and you the customer gets uh, the email personalized to him. Another interesting thing is that it logs all emails sent. So if a customer says, "I didn't get this email," you can go to the logins, check what email if he got or not the the if he the email was sent or not. Then you have simple news. This is a very old module, I think, from Drupal 6 or before that, maybe, uh, where you can, you, you don't need MailChimp, okay? It's free, native to Drupal. Uh, I have customers with 200,000 uh, subscribers on that only use simple news to send the newsletters, okay? Uh, then there's the ecosystem of Simple News has, has several modules, for example, that one, Simple Stats, that is very interesting. It says, it shows the, 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 if the email was open, if not, etc. And then you have, of course, in integration with third party service, and there's a model for that, MailChimp, Campaign Monitor, etc. Then, uh, whenever you start having conversation, interaction with customers, you need to record that. You need to, to know that what someone said, what someone promised, uh, simple things like record the birthday date of your, uh, of your, of your contact. For that, Drupal doesn't have many options, okay, native. This is, I think, the best one now, rather than CRM. It tries to be like Drupal Commerce for CRM, okay? Uh, but uh, it just gives you the building blocks, the, the bundles, and then you need to do all the rest. But it's, it's a, a, nice, a, nice, a nice start. I think if it gets more energy, it will be a great, a great uh, CRM. Then, of course, you have integration with all, almost all the popular CRMs. Uh, and, but usually the integration is very uh, thin, light, 
all they do is they usually usually they use web form and they just uh, capture the, the contact information and create a, a record on the on sales or so you spot okay this is a more advanced topic uh, having web personalization to Drupal okay so what is web personalization is if I, when I go to a page I see a different page different than the other visitor if I'm from Portugal perhaps there is th simple things like show the current time uh, I have in Portugal and not on, on, on the, 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 the current time on the server things like that or just show a, a, a block a different block because I saw three different pages from other user uh, this is a native solution to Drupal smart content it's very good it's native okay and then you have uh, a module that connect that is you know me that connects to the the project Apache you know me also uh, it's it's more advanced I think there's a, a workshop happening during DrupalCon just about you know me it's, it's for more advanced in, uh, s uh, solutions Nowadays, uh, influential marketing is on the rate, yeah, and uh, everybody wants some influential to talk about our, uh, their brand. Uh, usually, when you have, uh, and here we enter in the uh, in the Drupal Commerce uh, autos. Uh, usually, when you you the the um, the way these campaigns are done, are the influencer gives you a discount okay with a special coupon code okay for that Drupal commerce as commerce promotion it's built in it's very simple you create a coupon that uh, you can later track how many sales that coupon uh, generated and then give the commission back to the to the influencer if there's another model user referral in advance that creates tracking links referral links that uh, you can share with uh, give to your if if the 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 campaign is more in like subscribe to our to our platform. <laughs> the uh, the in a in a store uh, the the cart uh, abandonment rate is very very high. Okay, so you try so just you get an idea. It's easy like to have 100 carts created and only two or three that finish complete the cart okay so w a technique that's very co it's very common is to uh, whenever that happen like in the next day you send an email reminding the, the the shopper that he has some products left in in in, in the cart for that you have commerce advantage carts that, that that does that automatically okay this is this integration is more advanced and it gives it, it, um, it, it, it gives some some extra work to do. But there's a module that integrates commerce with Google Tag Manager, and uh, the model is Commerce Google Tag Manager. Then, if you follow the steps to have it um, set up, you can easily in Google Analytics see uh, your when uh, if they if the user uh, left on the checkout when they paid you can see all the transactions you had on your Drupal commerce store everything in, in integrated okay another common thing to to do for example in that example you see when you are going to search Google and Google understands that you are sh searching for a product it shows that little label there saying that the project that is a product and then it can show you the price the if it's in stock or not a picture and that you can do that with this module schema org meta tag okay it's another sub module for meta tag that by just by placing tokens on your product pages it generates the json that uh, google needs to to automatically add that Structured data. Uh, 
Another uh, sales technique that you can use when you have a store is you have a catalog of products it is to share that catalog with Google Shopping, with uh, uh, Amazon Marketplace, with all the local uh, marketplaces that almost every country has. And for that you need product feeds. There's no turnkey solution for that, okay? You need, usually, the setup is something like this. You install views.export, okay? You list all your products there, just views, and you export usually in JSON or CSV, uh, in CSV file. You usually also need this image URL formatter that automatically, automatically uh, generates a full URL for your product, okay, for your the images in your product, and this one is very important. Almost like Facebook, Google Shopping, they need you to tag the products with the, the right categories, the ones they de de define, okay? And this module is creates a taxonomy automatically with all the Google product categories. When you are creating a new product, you just need to choose, and then you have that information available later on, okay? For example, that that uh, Google podcast is needed for for this, for creating a Facebook and an Instagram product catalog. catalog. Facebook can automatically check your uh, site, okay, and whenever he finds a product that has the right meta tag uh, added, he understands that is a catalog and updates it automatically. If it, the price changes, the category changes. So you just need to add the meta tag module and activate this uh, sub module and then of course uh, add the right uh, tokens. In my book, or if you want, send me an email, all the things that I'm saying, uh, they are step by step there. I can share with you the information, okay? If you have anything that you want to know. This one is very easy to do. You see a shot everywhere. I think the 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 thing is like choose the the right one. I think this one is, in my opinion, the best one. It's free. Free, very. Of course, he has a paid offer uh, offering, but the 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 free offering is just perfect. You just install the 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 the, the module, and it adds uh, a live chat. You can even use it on your uh, app, okay? Very easy to set up this one. Another common tactic is whenever you do two minutes, <laughs> okay, so I'm finished. It's like one or two more slides. You can send CMS and push notifications, okay? For CMS, you need CMS frame framework, and for this is like a big, and uh, module to really use CMS stingrays to send C CMS. This setup is kind of uh, difficult. This is send push notifications. Suppose you have a, an app that integrates with your Drupal Commerce store. You can send using views work operations. This is a module I, I developed. You just, you can choose the customers you want and send them right to the, the, the message there, you see, and send a personalized machine using tokens for uh, for uh, your customers. There's also a view SMES that does the same thing for SMESs. Okay, you can you when you have a store and you sell globally. If you are, if you have thousands of products, millions even, uh, you need to translate the products. Okay, you that's very expensive, but you can do this automatically just using translation management tool. It's a module, a big module. And then there's this one, a plugin. Translate to Google, that's using machine translation. It's very cheap to, you just need a, cloud, a Google Cloud uh, subscription. Uh, it, it will translate your products, the descriptions, the categories, etc. Okay? And I think this is almost the last one. Key to Increase your, your revenue, one of the best ways is have your customers buy more, buy more from you, repeated customers, okay? One 
interesting thing is if they, for example, you create a loyalty program that every time they buy something, the, uh, they earn some points. And then they can change the, use the points to buy another things. There's a module just for that, that does, ev that ev integrates with Drupal Commerce and does that, okay? And my last slide, what I would like to see happen in the future is increase increased adoption among digital marketeers because the, tru the truth is that they still prefer uh, WordPress and many times uh, companies don't choose Drupal because the something, someone in marketing said they prefer WordPress because it's easy, you see? If you if you in increase this adoption, more Drupal projects will be sh uh, built, more community events involving marketers, a native CRM that is as good as Drupal, it will be great if this could happen, and better integration with Mautic because Mautic is really cool. Go see some demos about Mautic, and it's now that is it was acquired by Acquia. I think that will happen. And the the the, the marketing tools we have available in the community will grow also. So thank you. Questions, please. Thank you. Any questions? I'll pass the mic. Any questions? Yeah. Hello, uh, I'm Oliver from Vienna. Maybe I have one question about, uh, because you said better integration of Mautic. Uh, what do you think about the future? You said Acquia acquired it and it will become better. I also used Mautic some one time in combination with WordPress and one time uh, with uh, Drupal. But I'm not so happy at the moment um, with Mautic. And some clients maybe like to use HubSpot or a pipe drive like you also mentioned. Yeah, for, for I'll, I'll give you an example that I would love to see. Uh, we are currently uh, trying to develop that. For example, we have large Drupal Commerce stores. So, uh, if we could we could track the the the, the pages the the customer the products he sees, then we would in Maltic send him uh, personalized. Uh, news uh, emails, in in based on the uh, is 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 history. You see things like that. For example, and a better integration with Drupal Commerce. For example, um, uh, I think, for example, you can substitute uh, m uh, Mailchimp, simple news with Mautic if the the integration is easier. Uh, but but that one I think is easy to accomplish. Um, the form builder in Mautic is really uh, uh, advanced. That is something that is not s so advanced in Drupal, I think. Mm -hmm. And if we could like join for forces, uh, that will be great also. Th th things like this, things like that. For now, the integration is only a module uh, that uh, adds the the script, the tag, the the, the tags of Mautic analytics to uh, to Drupal. It's very basic. Thank you. Yep. And if I can still have a question. So um, digital marketing is really directly related also to GPDR and consent yeah. tracking, yeah, yeah. Uh, which I think it's still a very big problem with Drupal core at the moment. Um, I might have missed, did you speak about it? No, I missed it, yes. You okay. are right, you are right. Um, For that, we have a, a like a big module, the UI cookie compliance GDPR module. Yeah, that, that, that just a small part. Yes, that that really is not suited to today's applications. I mean, they, they've been working on 2.x yeah, exactly, for quite exactly. some time. Um, but and I think honestly, nowadays every Drupal site needs a consent manager, and I, I think that kind of stuff should actually go into core. Um, yeah, do you know I only really EU GPDR, or do you know do you use at uh, Bloom Idea other other constant? We are using that module, yeah, very personalized, yeah, and we have it in some customers. We have, for example, in a, a healthcare institution, a big one, and uh, that is very important for them because they need really they 
they really need to have the consent to track them. Uh, but it's just uh, that module very, very customized. But I, I know in, the, in that customer, for example, they are changing, they are leaving that module and they are going to a next uh, um, a third party consent manager. Yeah, everyone, I think everyone, uh, at least the big, the big projects are doing that. But I agree with you, that, that is something that should be in core because it's, everyone needs that. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with you. Yeah, yes, go ahead. Sorry for making you run. Um, yeah, it's, it's related to that. Um, in terms of analytics and tracking, um, the EU GDPR regulations really make Google Analytics very difficult or impractical or impossible in some places to use. Uh, and similarly, tracking cookies are rejected by users, so you, you're only getting partial data. Are there any alternatives or strategies that you can use for analytics and tracking that are compliant? This is my uh, opinion. I think the, the problem with tracking, uh, it's more about the, uh, the um, ad, ad blockers that track automatically that, okay? Then it, the people choosing not to be tracked. I think everyone sees the, the allow cookies. They just want to, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's the first thing. Yeah, it's the first thing for me personally. I know GDPR is very, very important, but I think that was just something stupid for me because no one reads that. It's just something that everyone else needs to press. To, let's see. I think um, like Google Analytics, the module in Drupal Core as an option, I think it's on by default. Uh, at least it used to be, and how I'm not sure, that says uh, uh, um, respect the do not track uh, option. And they set that cookie automatically. Uh, but I know that our customers, they always ask us to uh, remove that option because they want to track the, 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 the customers. You see? Yeah, yeah. You don't get yeah, the the customer is uh, just mad because it's very advanced with this, this cache. It's changing from Google Analytics to Matomo Analytics because of that. Yeah, I remember this is very, very, very old. Like it, I think it was the first module I developed. It was called False Account Detector because we we run large communities, websites, and you have the trolls. You see that create 100 accounts just to say bad things about. Uh, and we just placed the cookie in the, the and you and then we could see how this account has all these accounts and that was uh, done to help the moderators it, i think it was the first module i developed all right i think that's all thank you for uh, thank for you today. all thank you